What it do, it's your boy J. Reed. We're back at it again with y'all with another bang. So we're going to talk about Hood Rick Pablo 1, how he's been in prison for two years in jail. Hood Rich, we don't love him. Now, I'm going to hit from the back. He had that big song, We Don't Love Him. He was signed to 1017 Break Squad with Gucci Man, you know, the killer himself, Ice Cream Man. Burr, burr. He was signed to that man right there himself. So he been indicted on RICO charges. He's been in, uh, in Georgia RICO charges, which of course stands for racketeering, influence, and corrupt organization. These type of charges are only meant for those connected to organized crime. If you're arrested on these things, you're going to look <laughs> He has a RICO charge. He was hit with the 6-9, not the 6-9 RICO charge in March of 2020. Georgia Bureau, the Georgia Bureau investigation team of the Uptown County District Attorney Office, and there was suspicious activity going on throughout numerous communities. The GBI has linked crimes on the Rolling Twenty neighborhood bloods and indicted 46 suspects, including Hoover's Problem One, whose real name is Sterling Leroy Paintings. He's from Newark, New Jersey. He's been doing up and down since he's been like 10, 11 years old. He's been in the trenches, trapping with it. Like, nobody's talking about him being locked up for whatever apparent reason. Uh, I like his music. He's always been getting robbed. Always some The Jack Boy's always been after Hoover's Problem 1. I don't know, man. Somebody pray for Hoover's Problem 1. Because he's the only person I know who get jacked and get to talk about it on live, though. Because most people get jacked and get killed. So, I don't know. He was doing a lot of flexing. He's been jacked several times on the internet. Sterling Leroy Penix. Now, Silas why the administration street gang supporting the GBI gang task force. The governor, Brian Kemp, said his message to gang members look to prey on the innocent Georgians, commit crimes, and destroy lives. It's simple. We will not stop until every community is safe. According to the report, 25 to 46 suspects have been arrested while 21 remain at large. There are some pretty massive charges laid out there. 92 counts of racketeering influence, corrupt crime orders here. 59 counts of violation, George Street Gang, terrorism, prevention, 3 counts of trafficking, methamphetamine, 3 counts of trafficking, heroin, 4 counts of kidnapping, 4 counts of murder, 24 counts of aggravated assault, per Fox Landon. Wow. So he was really out there in the trenches. He was outside. He was really out there moving weight. He was out there thugging. Really, really thugging out there, fam. He been out there thugging for a minute. I don't understand. I don't know why these rappers start making this show money and want to start trapping. They want to be like some fucking kingpin or some drug lord or some shit. They want to live like they fucking Pablo Escobar or some shit. Like, bro, you're a rapper rap. Why are you trying to move weight? Why are you pushing packs in out here trying to be a dope boy? What the fuck? He's doing a hard time right now. He got five years. In Georgia, Rico, and plus a decade of probation right now. Hood Rich Pablo One. The trap rapper is going to do some hard time in prison as part of the plea deal he made. And once he get out here, get the best behavior for the longer stretch. Five years is still a long time. He's away from his family, his loved ones, kids. If he got in it, it's just five years in behind a fence, not away from women's society. Like who the hell is this? What a real niggas about? Is this what a trap nigga's about? You are spending birthdays behind bars? When a motherfucker tell you to what to eat, what time to wake up, you know, what to eat, what to wear? Is that a life to live? Is that what a real nigga do? That what these gangsters and trappers do? Because what this is what you sign up for when you in that street shit, guys. This is what you sign up for. Uh, he pleaded guilty to one account of violating the racketeering influence. Corrupt organization, a.k.a. a RICO case, and got five years in prison. He'll get credit for time served, which is so simple. He's been in custody for more than two years. So he's in prison for like two and a half years already right now. Uh, the Jersey Boy Atlanta rapper was arrested back in October 2020 with 45 others. Why? His plea deal calls for 10 years of probation after he gets out of prison. During that time, he may have any contact with the members associated with the criminal gang. And also Barrett from possessing fire Barrett from possessing firearms and ammo. He's dropped three projects since getting scooped by the cops. He's been behind bars the whole time. So who knows he'll put out doing this prison stint. Okay, okay. Whoever is Paulo one, man. Uh this is kinda of fascinating because a lot of bloggers ain't really been talking about him like that much. 
Because I guess since he's don't sign with Gucci no more, he uh, not really, you know, beloved by the media. He's not really talked by the media or whatever. But he dropped Hood Champ, Master Sensei 2, Free Hood. No features at all. This was last year. Free Hood is always free some damn body. And he dropped Master Sensei before he went in. And Hood Champ. Yeah, he dropped Hood Champ of May 20, 2020. Uh, yeah, you know, he, he's been doing time. You know, I guess this is Lawyer Swing. His deal. 10 years of probation. That's a lot of years. So he got to be on the straight and narrow. I'm pretty sure he's going to get a buzz. He's going to be hot for like a couple months. Uh, he's an okay rapper. He's decent, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think he was beefing with uh, a couple of rappers in Atlanta. You know, 21 Savage, the room with Pooh Shiesty. Uh He definitely probably been doing interviews to get his buzz back. You know, he's got hit with a Rico case. He's in out there in the trenches and the trappers with the trappers, the rappers. You know, I don't understand why people fall for this trap. Is really every criminal is dumb because you're gonna forget something. You're gonna slip up. The feds, man, they got a 98% conviction rate. They don't miss, man. Come on, man. What's... The only thing now he can do is just maybe just work out, write some rhymes, and figure out his power moves when he get out. I mean, his, he must be had some pretty good sweet lawyer to get this damn deal because I think if he ain't had no lawyer, he probably would have got the fucking max. Yeah, he, he, he probably would have got the fucking max deal or some shit. He, but Judge probably threw the book at his ass. So, maybe that's why he's going to the big house right now. It was sentenced to 15 years after reaching the plea deal. 15 years. He was sentenced to December 1st to 5th. The 1st. Woo-wee. Yeah. Uh, definitely was a big sign by Gucci. Gucci's a goddamn talent, man. Um. Uh, he had three, he three new projects. He's 33 years of age. Yeah, this is a, you know, he been teamed up with Lil J, CJ Casino. Uh, it's kind of crazy. A lot of rappers got, you know, we got Young Thug and Gunner, the YSL. I don't get it though, man. I don't understand how you make it out of poverty. We want to go back to that bullshit. You want to go back to that lifestyle of being in the trenches, of being real, being gangster, letting know people that you ain't no pussy, that you really bought it, bought it. You know, you... You really bought that, you know, you really gonna get your issue, but man, fuck that damn prison time. None of your homeboys, your bitches you was fucking, none of them gonna visit you though, man. You know, you don't know your real friends until you got them go to prison or, or until you down bad and you on your lap. That's when you know who your real friends is, but I, I don't get it though, man. I wish him the best. Uh, whoever is probably one, hopefully come out. He still have a career somewhat. Uh, it basically was a one hit one now. That's the only song usually people know him from and getting robbed on, on his blog sites. But uh y'all y'all let me know man, you feel like you're gonna have a career after that. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all fuck me in the comments and share the video. I'm out.